48 means still here we have read it that in the first video i have sent you that the british expansion will be there in the punjab and everywhere you know, punjab areas countries and bahut sari countries usne cover kar li thi now 1805 to 1848 usne friends area so cover kiya tha this period shows a rapid expansion of britishers they also occupied singapore dutch chirag and so on bahut sari countries they will annex and also annex in in 1843 but punjab is still out of his range but independent kingdom remains ruled by the maharaja ranjit ji sir was the ruler of the punjab but after his death 1839 dilip singh his son will become the head kingdom of the punjab but he was defeated by the britishers and britishers annex the punjab in 1849 means punjab is also goes in the hands of british when the dalhousie was the governor general of the britishers at that time expansion will be there of britishers 1848 to 1856 tak ke beech mein they launched the doctor hozi launch one policy doctor of leps means without natural hair if any person is died of kingdom will be died of to so, uski jo kingdom hogi wo kisi aur ko de di jayegi means agar son nahi hai daughter nahi then that the kingdom will be passed to anybody else at that time our the ruler of the vijit ali shah was annexed by dalhousi means avad was also annexed by the britishers in 1856 britishers ne avad ko bhi de diya tha apne under pe to here the expansion of britishers will be covered from 1805 to 1856 now all the in, in this chapter we have seen that the britishers has covered most of the parts of the countries Till 1856. So the administration can now go so much easier, na? So the structure of the administration. Now, to have a proper structure of the administration, structure of the administration. So the British annex most of the territory of India, and they never thought about the citizen of India. Kabhi nahi socha India ke baare mein, and they make rules like increase the property, profit. ट्रेड होल्स इंडियन स्टैंड इस हर चीज इंडियंस के नेगेटिव में चला गया क्योंकि ब्रिटिशर्स ने बहुत सारे पार्ट्स इंडिया के ले लिए थे एंड दे मेड द इंडियन हैज प्रोविंसेस इनटू थ्री लाइक बॉम्बे भोपाल बॉम्बे बंगाल मद्रास विल बिकम अ प्रेसिडेंसी दे डिक्लेयर दैट प्रेसिडेंसी टाउन्स बस छोटे फोर एजेंसीज दे विल लॉन्च द ब्रिटिशर्स विल लॉन्च टू कंट्रोल द इंडिया दे विल लॉन्च फोर एजेंसीज दे विल स्टार्टेड फोर एजेंसीज they are civil service first one which was started by the first lord cornwallis and started first college at calcutta in 1801 by lord wellesley but it was difficult to select india in it indians person ko select nahi kiya jata tha because exam fight karne ke liye indians ke paas because that exam will be held in london which was not possible which was very costly so indians person were not selected for civil services examination medium of the answering will be english and age limit was very low so indian person will not participate in the civil service at that time that army to maintain the administration they launched they, they needed a large army called sepoys they may and they will also start the police administration to maintain the law and order like thanas thanas will divide into the rogas the the rogas will divide into kotwalis and kotwalis will divide into chokidars is this one with the administration which was started by the petitioners last administration which was started by started by the petitioners was judiciary judiciary high court supreme court they set up so the, before becoming the petitioners law custom and tradition will be the law system at that time but foreign hasting and lord cornwallis gave a proper shape to the law system so they made a law system like ipc they made it a different type of law system right to equality and equality will be for all sab ki baat suni jayegi so so british start the law system and they are following that law system and the constitution to was a part of the british ke diye gaye so at that time warren hasting and lord cornwallis were very much role in the shape of the law and to make the law system properly at last judiciary 